Hey friends, welcome to Vineyard Kids Daily. I'm Becca. And I'm Steph. And it's great to see you guys once again. Steph! What? I mean, I'm I know you really like... Yeah, you always have a snack. Um, do you have any more of those apples? No, this is the last one. Well, now that you're eating an apple, all I can think about is how badly I want an apple. Like, is there any way, like, you might be willing to share your apple with me? You can have it. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks. This is super helpful because we are talking about the armor of God today. And so this will be really great for our illustration. So, okay. Ready to see? I've it? heard of the armor of God. Oh, you're right. I need to back up and actually. Yeah, I feel like. The world. Yeah. So. The armor of God is something we see throughout the Bible. We're going to be talking about this for the next few weeks in Vineyard Kids Daily. But basically, putting on the armor of God is doing stuff so that when the enemy in all of his sneaky ways tries to come and help us make bad choices or not follow the things that God wants us to do, when we have on this armor, it's like we can stand up and we can fight against the enemy. And so I want to show us. What that looks so it's like. really important. It's really like we really need this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And so we'll be diving into all the different pieces of the armor and what they actually mean, because it is actually it's a little complicated and it's a lot to think about, but it's all really really good stuff, which is why we want to take some time to talk about it, right? So when we think about the armor of God, though, boop, boop. Can you see now? Maybe I have to scoot this back. Is that just water? It is. You know how much we love our illustrations with water. So we have water once again. Okay. So when we don't have the armor of God on. It's wow, like, you peeled that fast. I did. I'm, I'm very speedy. So we take, it's like us going in our life. It's us like going and I don't know sometimes making bad choices and we're just like really susceptible to things. And so like kind of when we go out into the world, it's like we go bloop and we sink down to the bottom, right? We can't swim. We sometimes make bad choices or we lie or we get really overwhelmed. We get really sad and just like Satan just loves to do that. He loves to mess with us. Yeah. It's like the weight, the weight of the world just kind of brings us down. Exactly. Yeah. That's but. Tough. When we put on the armor of God, right, which we're going to pretend this orange peel is, watch what happens when all that stuff happens. We see. Ah. It didn't sink down. It didn't sink down. It floats. Why does it float? Because the armor of God protects us from the enemy in all the ways that he wants to mess with us. Putting on the armor of wow. God helps remind us that God is always with us and that he is always there to help help us make good choices cheers that's really cool because it you'd think that the orange would actually be heavier because it has more stuff on but in fact it does better with the stuff on isn't that amazing right yeah that's really cool so the armor helps us float when otherwise we would sink which is pretty great and so i mean that's a lot to think about and that's super fun uh and so we should probably Think about that a little bit more while we do our worship workout, right? Yes, I love that. We have a really fun one today from Rachel and Linnea. You guys are really going to enjoy this one. This isn't a song we've done before on Vineyard Kids Daily. It's called Gloria Dios, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Hello, Vineyard Vineyard Kids, welcome to Worship Workout with woo, woo, woo. Rachel and Linnea. Yes. We're excited to worship with you, so why don't you join us? With my whole heart, I give you all of my praise. With my whole heart, I give you everything. Con todo, con todo mi corazón. Sing it out. With my whole heart, I give you all my praise. With my whole heart, I give you everything. Con todo, con todo mi corazón. Glory a Dios, solo. Glory a Dios, solo. To the one who was and is and is to come.
praise with my whole heart. I give you everything. Con todo. Con todo mi corazón. With my whole heart. I give you all my praise. With my whole heart. I give you everything. Con todo. Con todo mi corazón. Thanks, Rachel and Linnea. That was super fun. I really felt like I got my groove on. Yeah, I think I'm sweating a little bit. I just one of those sweat bands. Yeah, that's why I put this on. So I was oh, ready. You were thinking. That. All right, so I wanted to read some verses about the full armor of God. So then again, next time when we talk, we can talk about the different parts of the armor. So this is in Ephesians. This is chapter 6, verses 10 through 17. They're a little long. Are you ready? I am ready. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. That's a lot right there. Therefore, Put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's a lot of words. That is, but it's really good. It is really good stuff. And that's why, because this is really good stuff, when we put on our armor of God and we swim, we're going to talk more, like we said, over the next few weeks about what that looks like. And if you guys tune into our weekend services, we're also going to be talking about the armor of God there as well, which is super fun. Because it's that important. It is that it's important. very important. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's kind of tough for us to learn about because we're talking about a battle that's not like on happening like really outside where we can see it. It's like happening in our hearts and in our minds, which can be a little confusing. So we definitely want to take some time and talk a little bit more about that. Steph, do you want to pray for us? I would love to pray for us. Great, thanks. 
Holy Spirit, would you just come close to us? And sometimes when we talk about things like fighting and just the devil schemes, it can almost sound, sound kind of scary. But I just ask Jesus that as we walk through the armor of God, that you would help us be ready to stand strong in your power, just like the scriptures tell us. I ask Jesus that you would help us to learn more about what it looks like to protect ourselves, to protect our hearts, and to protect our minds as we talk about the armor of God. Would you help us to understand all the ways that the enemy is trying to sneak in and maybe scare us or create fear and make our lives more difficult so that we can fight against him? Thank you, God, that you see us and that you protect us and that you have made a way for us to be safe. Thank you for all the things that you do for us. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us, friends, for another episode of In Your Kids Daily. Well, it's just so fun. I can't help it. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.